The Great Painting Series, Berlin Street Scene by Ernst Ludwig Kirchner. The jagged forms, acidic colors, and tense, mask-like faces give this picture a nightmarish intensity. It is one of a series of street scenes of Berlin, perhaps Kirchner's most powerful and original works, that he painted between 1913 and 1915, after he moved to the city from Dresden in 1911. Whereas Dresden was cosily provincial, Berlin was one of the largest and most culturally vibrant capitals in Europe at this time, and even though he felt lonely there, Kirchner was intoxicated by what he called the Symphony of the Great City. Among its many and varied attractions was its decadent nightlife and the clothes, as well as the brazen demeanor of the two central women leave no doubt that they are prostitutes. The claustrophobic atmosphere of the picture is created partly by the feeling that the street is tilted up toward the viewer, so that the figures loom oppressively close. We see the scene as if through the eyes of a friendless wanderer in the city, physically close to other people but emotionally distant. More than any other artist, Kirchner captures the giddy excitement as well as the vulgar materialism of the German capital on the eve of World War. So, who was Ernst Ludwig Kirchner? One of the key figures of 20th century German art, Kirchner created powerful and disturbing works expressing the tensions of modern life. His work included prints, sculpture, and paintings. Born in Aschaffenburg, Germany, Kirchner moved to Dresden in 1901. He was the leading member of the first organized group of expressionists, Die Brock, The Bridge, which operated from 1905 to 1913. Expressionists used distortion and exaggeration to intensify their work's emotional effect. They were part of a broad movement that was a major force in European art in the early 20th century, particularly in Germany. Kirchner had a mental and physical breakdown while serving in the German army during World War I and moved to Switzerland when he was recuperating. Although his work had been much admired, in 1937, it was declared degenerate, in effect outlawed, by the Nazis, who hated modern art. The following year, Kirchner committed suicide. Two women. The fur collared coats and extravagant feathered hats were typical of prostitutes' dress in Berlin at the time. The women's heavily made up faces are also characteristic of the profession. 
As models, Kirchner used the sisters, Erna and Gerda Schilling, nightclub dancers he met soon after moving to Berlin. Man Smoking The man who rather awkwardly turns his head away from the women, perhaps in embarrassment or disdain, has been interpreted as a self-portrait of Kirchner. He wrote that. An agonizing restlessness drove me onto the streets day and night. The Green Bus In the background is a horse-drawn bus. It is a number 15, a service whose route passed through Berlin's red light district. Motorized buses had first been used in Berlin as early as 1898, but when Kirchner painted this picture horses were still a major form of transport even in the largest cities. <laughs> 